Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time with a little theory. Huh? Because this time I want to tell you something about different uh, type of memories you have inside. Yeah? One type of memory is the so-called RAM. Okay, right here, memory types. And one type is the so-called RAM. What means actually random access memory. Random access memory. How does such RAM look like? Well, here is a typical RAM part. These parts, these are RAM memories. Yeah. Maybe on both sides, maybe only on one side. Yeah. Here, this is a graphics uh, adapter, a graphics card. Old one, of course. You also see here. Here is the graphics memory, the graphics RAM. That's it. Yeah. RAM memory is usually very fast. Uh, it's, it's very fast. You can access all areas randomly. This is why it's called that way. And it's very fast. However, if it's not supplied by power, it's gone. Okay? So if it's if it needs to be supplied by voltage, then it's it's remembering. It's a memory. If the power supply is gone, it's not remembering at all. Then everything which was stored inside is gone. Okay? RAM, random access memory. Then there is a thing called ROM. Here this means read only memory. So this is some sort of storage where you can only read from. It is produced somehow and afterwards you can only read a book, something like this. Well, in the book you could write in, but here, CD, this one is music, there is nothing inside, interesting. This is even closed still. <laughs> Here, CD. Yeah? It is produced, there is data on it, and, well, you can only read the data. You cannot alter the data. This is read-only memory. Okay? RAM, read-only memory. Absolutely opposite. Here, the data is stored pretty well. In some books, they are really hundreds of years old. Yeah? Hundreds of years. Still working. Read only memory. And then there are things which are PROMs. P R O M. PROM. This is a program able. Read only memory. This means you are buying this, there is nothing on, yeah? then you can program it once, only once, yeah? and then you can afterwards, after programming, you can only read it. Yeah? For instance, if you burn a DVD or if you burn a CD, yeah? you have this blank disk, you put it into your CD burner, you burn there whatever you like, your latest photos, your latest, I don't know. Yeah? your data, program it, and then it's only read, it's read only. Yeah. Prom. Yeah. Then there are so-called EPROMs. This 
this E is now extending this, it's an erasal. Read only memory. It's an erasable read-only memory. So, so, so re programmable. Sorry, erasable and programmable. Erasable, programmable, read-only memory. EEPROM. You are can program it. Usually, there were such little uh, flash devices. You flash the, the the ROM, yeah, and then you can only read it. And those EEPROM, they had a little. They had little windows on, yeah. And if there is ultraviolet light touching the memory chips inside, then the memory is slowly forgetting, yeah, is erased, erased by ultraviolet light. Yeah? So there are then available such little ultraviolet sources, yeah, little. Sun Studio, <laughs> you put in the the uh, EEPROM chips, put it in, prrt, cook it, yeah, light it, of course not cook it, uh, expose it to this ultraviolet rays, and it will be erased in 15 minutes. You are able to program it again. Okay, so this is how this was working, and then you put a sticker on the window to prevent sunlight. And then you flash it, and then you have the new program on. Yeah. EEPROM. Yeah. Still working in some applications, of course. Yeah. EEPROMs. And then, latest, latest thing is the EEPROM. EEPROM. This is an electrically erasable programmable read only memory now the abbreviation really makes sense. Electrically erasable programmable read-only memory EEPROM. Okay. This you also know. For instance, where do I have it? One example: flash drive. Uh, USB stick flash drives. These are, or here, uh, SD cards. Uh, this is a typical example of an EEPROM, Electronic Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory. Yeah? USB sticks, something like this. Uh, the big advantage to the random access memory is, yeah? because now we can erase it electrically, we can program it electrically, and why it's called read-only memory? Because actually the technique is a little bit different than in RAM. Yeah? In RAM I said RAM is forgetting, okay? When the power supply disappears. This one here, this is not forgetting, yeah? At least not at the beginning. The thing which you have to keep in mind at those things is that those things do have wear. Yeah? This means a write cycle will cause some wear simply to this specific bit. Where you have written it. The often, the more you write a single bit there, or a byte, it doesn't really matter, the, the, the position, the, the more you write to a single position, the more wear it has. And after a while, after, I don't know, 100,000, maybe 200,000 write cycles, this thing starts to forget. Then it's not a memory at all. So this we always have to keep in mind that these things might forget. Yeah? That this this I cannot the random access memory you can write there many times. It doesn't really matter. There is no wear. Yeah? It, it, it will work simply. Yeah? And it's much faster than an EEPROM. Yeah? RAMs are much faster than EEPROMs. And here 
we have to think about not to write too often to it. This is sometimes this is sometimes a typical issue on your SSD on a solid state drive, which are also flash drives. Uh, with I don't know caging or something like that. If Windows does caging and so on, then this should not happen exactly at the same position on the hard drive again. So there are wear leveling mechanisms in there and so on. They are pretty sophisticated yeah, to prevent a single a single uh, memory position from failing. EEPROM. Our Arduino does contain some RAM uh, and also some EEPROM. Our program, we are flashing the EEPROM uh, because the program is remembered if we unplug it from the power source. Then the program is loaded into the RAM and is executed there where all those variables are and so on. This is why we cannot remember things from, from, the, re, from the previous run, uh, from the previous plugin. Yeah. However, a small portion of the EEPROM and our Arduino is available, or a small portion, a portion of the EEPROM of the Arduino is available for user usage. You can store data there. On our Arduino Uno here, yeah. here our Uno, there is one kilobyte, so 1000. 24 bytes yeah, available of EEPROM available yeah, on the Arduino Uno. One kilobyte, yeah, these are 1024 bytes of EEPROM are available. Okay, this means. Uh, we have addresses there from 0 to 1023. So the addresses. The simple numbers of the memory inside. This is also located on this chip here. And how to utilize the EE from our Arduino? This will be in next video. Okay. For this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.